there, this is Gina with GinasCraftingSpot.com and I'm working on my Christmas cards for this year. I'm actually almost done. I just wanted to show you how I um, made it. And what I'm using is the Merry Christmas here from this Close to My Heart Ornamental Cheer Holiday stamp set. And I'm also using the old cartridge Paper Doll Dress Up. And I'm using this little elf on page 74 and I just um, cut him out in all his layers at three inches and the other thing I used well let me show you him let me find him put him somewhere I'm sorry about that okay here he is okay so here's my little guy Again, oh, there he is. Cut out at three inches. And I went ahead and put the green stickles on the top of his little boots. And gold right here on his buckle. I used the red for his little, um, for this part. And then green on the rim of his hat. And for this cute little face, I used, see this is how I stamped him on the paper doll. Again, cut it three inches. And I used the medium critter faces because I didn't have any small ones. And it's, I mean, really big, but I think he looks cute. He looks very elfish. I think he looks super cute. And then what I did is I just took an action wobble. And um, I know the close to my heart ones are a little bit smaller, but this is what I had handy. So I just used a regular action wobble. And I cut, if you could see, this bottom part where it's just all sticky and just cut that piece all the way down so it, um, you know, um, fit perfectly on the back of that little elf. So that way when I put them on the card, you won't see that plastic piece, you know, sticking out right here. Because this will be adhered to the card. So you won't see, how, see like that, how you won't see it. So anyway, so alright, so I use a Peachy Keen stamp, super cute for that. So I'm doing a traditional A2 size card, and this is Stampin' Up! Whisper White Paper. And I went ahead and just chomped all the edges and used the half inch side of the, with the corner chomper. And I did that with all the layers. The next layer I have was cut an eighth of an inch smaller, and that is a piece of red. Just a piece of red, I think, Stampin' Up! real red and then this piece super cute piece was an eighth of an inch smaller than that and this is a paper pack it came from super cute from our collections got this on clearance last year <clears throat> so I use that for my layers and for my I get my ATG on for the like something for the little elf to stand on I used my Cricut Artiste cartridge which you could only get through close to my heart and I just love this cartridge it's so cute and I'll show you that in a sec let me just adhere these layers and if at this point you wanted to add a ribbon you could I didn't because I ran out and I don't feel like running to the dollar store right now to go get some I just want to show you guys and you could spruce it up a little because I have some other ones I'm going to show you that I did do though the ribbon on so for the inside I just cut a little piece of that same paper pack paper just the red polka dot um, it's cut I think four by three and three quarters I don't know something like that so I'm just going to center this I know it's hard to see white on white my background but there I got that and then this piece is just a little bit smaller I kind of just eyeballed it so I was using scraps this is not um, stamping on paper this is just an uh, not inexpensive but a lighter weight card uh, yeah cardstock I think from our collections which works just fine cards layers 
I'll just attach this and then I have some sentiments. I'm going to just stamp that on the inside later. So this is what we have. <coughs> and then I have this yeah, image that, again, I got from the Cricut Artiste cartridge. This is what it looks like. Beautiful stuff on there. Super, super cute. And it's this image right here on page 80. It's a under 3D object. So I just cut that out at two and three quarters in the red, the same red, two and three quarters, and then two and a half for this white piece. And this is one of the white pieces, and I ran it through my cuddle bug with the snow uh, snowflake folder. I think it looks really pretty. So then I just adhered these two together, and then I'm just going to put it right down onto my card. Again with my ATG. It's pretty simple. So I did mass produce. I did about 20 of them. So I wanted it to be simple. And then with that Merry Christmas um, sentiment I said I was going to use from this pretty cartridge, I just stamped it on a piece of white and then cut around it. So this one's about one by three and a half maybe. That's what it's that's how much space you need. So I'm just gonna take my scissors and trim this and I'm gonna do the little banners on each side. Just using my scissors, nothing fancy. This one's a little too long. do the other side and then I'm going to use my one of my foam pieces and it just has real red from stamping up on it it's going to go around the edge lightly just so it stands out a little bit we are done. I think I'm going to pop this up. Take just some of my it's my roll of foam tape. And you see I stamped it on the other end. I didn't like it so I did it again. So a couple pieces, one on each end and then one in the middle because I don't like it when it falls in. And then we will put on our little elf on the action wobble and we shall be done now this little elf guy I mean he doesn't take a lot of time to put together when you're only doing one but doing like 20 or 30 like I did it took a little little while I think it's worth it though I think he's super duper cute and I just love that peachy keen face how it looked on there I'm glad I used the bigger one I think it came out perfect. So I'm just going to take this off. And then I might just trim like the blue and red parts. See how you could see that through? So I'll just trim that a little bit. Because if you make the mistake of trimming on this end, it um it becomes unsticky because there's it just you know cuts off the sticky part so that didn't work for me so I decided to try this way this way works well so let me just put my little guy on here and you can't tell too much if you wanted to you could you know make your own it could be the perfect size but for me this is just Fine and still super duper cute. See, he's adorable. That looks cuter with the with a little ribbon there, but I didn't do it for this one. So there's my card, and you know what? Let me just add a little. See, I put little blings on the little feet. So. <clears throat> I'll just use my. Stick them up. No, quick stick. Just put a few of these here on the bottom. 
add a little bit more to it so it doesn't look so plain. And of course all the kids that, all my nieces, nephews, and friends that get it are just going to love the wobble because that is just adorable. And there we go. That's it for that. And uh, here's my inside and I'm just going to stamp something or you could just write it. And then let me show you the other ones that I, a couple of the other variations I had. There's this guy. I just put him straight with foam tape. I didn't wobble him. Um, then just a little tag with Tis the Season and some bling, which are coming off. I would say use a glue dot. Don't trust the adhesive that already comes on it. Anyway, this is how it looks with the bow, which I think is really pretty. So I'm gonna have to go get more of that from the dollar store. And then I just see, put season's greetings and then put our information. And then this is another one I did, which is adorable. Again, same paper pack, Merry Christmas. Again, to the inside. So. I hope you guys enjoy and come back and see me again. Merry Christmas. Bye.